is Mrs. Reister with example two for lesson 7.2. We have four inequalities here to solve, all of which contain division. So recall that we use inverse operations to solve. So for inequality in question A, we are going to use multiplication to solve. We've got x divided by two is greater than seven. So to get x by itself, we're going to multiply by two on both sides. My inequality stays the same. And seven times two is 14. So x is greater than 14. For B, we have negative seven is less than or equal to y divided by three. So we're gonna multiply by three on both sides. And three times negative seven is negative 21. So negative 21 is less than or equal to y. And we could rewrite this if we would, if you would like to have the variable on the left side. And then we reverse the inequality sign to greater than or equal to. So negative 21 is less than or equal to y is the same as saying y is greater than or equal to negative 21. C, we have k divided by negative four is greater than six. Now, because we're dividing by a negative four, we're going to have to multiply by a negative four to isolate our variable. And because we have to multiply by a negative on both sides, that negative four, that causes our inequality sign to flip. So rather than being greater than, it is now going to be less than and six times negative four is negative 24. So K is less than negative 24. And lastly for D, we have M divided by negative eight is less than or equal to negative nine. Multiplying by a negative eight on both sides My inequality sign is going to flip to become greater than or equal to now. And negative nine times negative eight is a positive 72. So M is greater than or equal to 72. Now try the your turn questions and check to see how you did.